welcome collective i hope you guys are having a great day uh let's go ahead let's get started here jump right into your read uh, we'll see what message comes forward all those guys did not want to stay in the deck we're going to start with them we're going to see uh what message is going on for the collective today rock cave whew, desert and lake oh my goodness okay so i definitely see <laughs> I see a time, a period of sort of struggle, but recuperation at the same time too, especially with that cave. We kind of protect ourselves, sort of going within. But I don't get like a really like closed off negative vibe from this card. I don't. I see a lot of positivity. I see a lot of light in it, even with the desert card. I know the figure is by themselves, but I feel like it's given a chance for somebody to find um, insight insight wisdom maybe a new meaning a new outlook i feel positivity behind it i feel like i can see where i want to go now i can see the direction that i'm wanting to go in i do have this lake depth rock endurance this is part of somebody what somebody was going through these two cards are part of what somebody's been going through they've had to be that they've had to endure something endure something that happened i wouldn't be surprised if the tower card comes out uh in our tarot deck once we start pulling the tarot cards and sort of representing the catalyst of what somebody's been through and what's driven this this new change in somebody's life like i said i see that having to go into cave and protect mode having to heal having to heal somebody's heart and having to sort of close in your circle while you do it to make it easier not having you know other outside influences come in and shake things up when you just being able to focus on yourself focus on loving yourself focus on healing yourself focus on getting yourself to the point where you're ready to start moving out into the world again and i see that in the desert card i see this now i have this focus now i have like this inner focus this inner peace this inner strength and i'm ready to start moving forward again Let's see what else comes out in the card Give me a couple more here, Tarot. What do we got? So we have the sun, which represents blessings. Uh, we have music, which represents joy. Again, I like I see this transition in moods in somebody, this transition in energy. Somebody's been through this really heavy, dark stuff, and they've had to sort of dig deep to do the shadow work, and now the focus has changed. Now we're coming out the other side. I feel like we're finding happiness again. We're starting to feed our soul and do things that are just for us. We're finding positivity again in the world and positivity in things around us. Uh, I need a tarot deck. This is the one that I'm being called to. So tarot, what's going on? Can you give me more clarification on this read and the message that needs to be heard from it? What is the message behind all of this? Ten of Pentacles. Ah, it does represent legacy. It represents wealth. Two of Swords. The Magician. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still choices to be made, perhaps, here. Because I got Two of Swords in Decision, Two of Wands trying to choose a path. Uh, I think it's like there's something else somebody's got to let go of. Or making a choice to step into something new. Step onto a new path. Hmm, that nine of swords. I do feel anxiety and worry in this nine of swords. Like a little bit of leftover worry. What is this for though, the eight of cups? Because it's like, do I do this? It's like, do I make this choice? Somebody's got a decision ahead of them and they're not sure whether to take that leap or not. It's like struggling, struggling with the leap. Do I do it? Do I not? Uh, the magician, all I can see in this magician is to have confidence and believe in yourself have confidence believe in yourself if you could endure whatever that crap was from the past you can find a way forward you can find a way to navigate whatever challenge comes your way if you decide to move down this one path and there's unforeseeable challenges that come forward you'll be able to handle it you will be able to navigate your way through you found your way through the rest of this crap you can find your way through anything that comes forward in your life now mm. interesting so who are you guys all about here? I got good news. I got lots of positive cards coming forward. Uh, page of Wands. I feel good news in this Page of Wands. Good news being brought. The Three of Pentacles starting to see the fruits of your labor. But it's tied to justice. Um, a wrong being righted. And this Justice card... 
Uh, it's not just balance and fairness, but it's something you actually don't have control over. This is not a choice that you get to make. This is a choice that somebody else would get to make. So you might be dealing with something within the court system or legally as well. Because I keep feeling like this, you can't choose this. You can't make this go one way. You can't make it go the other way. This is just going to go the way it's going to go. But I feel good news surrounding it. I feel something that works out in your favor. This three of wands tells me you're going to be able to bring a chapter to a close and really truly move forward into a future. The king of wands. I have the king of wands, the world card, the queen of wands. I want to know where the two of these sit. I don't get a negative vibe off of these cards, especially not a lot of times I see this king of wands and it's almost like the expression on his face will change depending on the read if he speaks to a toxic energy. He can be somebody very dark and angry looking. I do not get that vibe off of this card. I don't. I absolutely don't. I get a positive vibe off of this card. This isn't a bad person. Whoever this King of Wands is speaking to, um, I feel like I get more off of this person's energy than the Queen of Wands, though. I'm not sure if the King of Wands is who this read is for. Uh, wands can represent a fire sign, sometimes uh, Sagittarius and Aries or a Leo. But it's somebody who's usually very passionate. It's somebody who's very driven. Mm, King of Wands. Uh, the World Card 2 speaks of rewards. Rewards from the universe. Uh, this is not luck or things that fall into your lap. This is having to do the hard thing. Having to endure. Having to dig deep. Having to do the healing process. Having to find that positivity and make positive changes in your life. Like it's not an easy path to take. But it comes with rewards. And that's why I see rewards are coming to this person. Rewards are coming. Believe in yourself. If you could handle the crap from the past. You can make Make a choice in all of this too. I keep getting pulled back to that Ten of Pentacles. That Ten of Pentacles can represent a few things. I almost feel like we might be talking about a house or a home. I don't know if we're purchasing one, if we're selling one, or we're just looking to move or change, or perhaps this is part of what's being settled. Maybe a house or a home or some finances or some joint assets are being divided. Or maybe what to do with them once they've been divided. I, like I said, I just, I get a positive vibe off of this King of Wands. This King of Wands is just looking to build for the future. This person just wants to move on and move forward. They want to leave this old chapter behind. They're not interested in hanging on to baggage. They're not interested in hanging on to, on to bitterness, on to anger, on to sadness, any of that. Because it's like this desert cart. They found a new way of looking at things. And they found this new direction. They found where they wanted to go. Uh, and maybe part of that is moving towards a new relationship in the future, or finding somebody to share their life with, somebody who's a positive force in their life, somebody who they feel like is a match. But I want to see what else we got going on here. The Hanging Man. Nine of Pentacles. I'll move that guy over too. Hmm, Nine of Cups. Well, you're going to have a reason to celebrate because whatever this justice is, this does come out in somebody's favor. This comes out, whoever this read is for, whoever's been doing a bit of worrying about this, whoever's been dealing with this or trying to work towards it. It's like the Page of Wands said, there is good news here. Again, Page of Pentacles is good news and Pentacles can speak to finances. There is some sort of financial good news that ties into the Ten of Pentacles here that comes from this justice card for this person, for this King of Wands character. This is part of their good news. But like I said, this wasn't magic. It didn't drop into their lap. This person had to do a lot of soul searching. They had to do a lot of digging. They've had to endure a lot of stuff. Uh, the hanging man. And the only thing, you know what, because this person's been through all of this and they've been able to find like this new way of thinking, this new light, and sort of looking forward to the future without hanging on to crap from the past, the hanging man is absolutely right for this person. The only thing, the only thing that could stop this person from finding nine of pentacles, happiness and, and abundance is themselves because this person has this shift. So no outside force can stop this person from finding happiness in their own life. No outside force can stop this person from creating abundance in their own life. There's nothing that can stop them. The five of swords, the ace of swords. Because even in this Five of Swords, this is part of what they were dealing with. This is like a sneakier kind of energy. This is a darker kind of energy. This may tie into this Devil card in a real, a manipulative or destructive force. This might have been what somebody stepped away from, sort of the catalyst for this situation to begin with. 
Uh, I don't know that it's a romantic relationship. This might be something completely different. But I do feel like it speaks to the catalyst for the journey that this person had to go on. Most definitely. Uh, the Ace of Swords is that triumph, right? Page of Pentacles, good financial news, Nine of Cups, abundance. This person is about to find that shift. They're about to find abundance, especially music and joy. Whatever good news and financial abundance is coming their way. It's enough to make a huge difference in the way that they live their life. It's enough to give them a certain level of freedom in the way that they're living their life and their choices. As is, like I say, it's a good thing. Whatever's coming their way, it's a lot of good news. The King of Swords, that's the one who makes the judgment call. I got to tell you that right now because I can feel that person sitting there. Uh, zero emotion tied into this decision. Okay, so they're not like feeling sorry for someone or feeling a heart connection with somebody. This is someone who's looking at facts and dishing out justice for what it is. Okay, and their decision is in the favor of this King of Wands. The Empress and the Seven of Wands. Because uh, this King of Swords, whoever this King of Swords is... Yeah, it's funny because I'm not sure what happened to this King of Wands. I don't know that this has anything to do with romance, but there was a wrong done to this person. There was something wrong. There was something immoral that was done to this King of Wands. They definitely caught the short end of the stick. The other side of that was being very sneaky. The other side of that was not being on the up and up. That bothers the King of Swords. And the King of Swords likes to be able to make that right. That's part of why they do what they do. That's part of what drives that person is to bring a balance back. Uh, it's funny because the Empress, I sh I'm being told that card represents the universe, that figure represents the universe, and she's somehow behind it. She's somehow behind it. I don't know, maybe she is part of this King of Swords journey and what that person has chosen to do for a career and a living and sort of maybe helps to guide them or sees them as a force that can help in this world, in the physical world, bringing things back into justice, bringing things back into balance. And the universe likes to have things in balance anyways. So that might be where her tie is there because I do feel her tied to this King of Swords. But I don't feel like this King of Swords is friends with the King of Wands, family with the King of Wands, any kind of romantic anything or colleague or anything, but they are involved in the justice. And it's funny because it's like the Empress plays a part in it too. The universe plays a part in it too. This is like meant to come back into balance. This balance, this justice, this is all meant to happen. This wrong is supposed to be righted. The Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, uh, this Queen of Cups. It's funny, I feel like this Queen of, Queen of Cups is almost the one making the offering or bringing the news forward that this King of Swords has made this judgment, because I don't see the King of Swords going out and telling everybody what they've said. Uh, I see this figure sitting there and making a judgment call. And then I see it's up to others, sort of, I guess for lack of a better word, kind of underneath them, to then go out and spread that and tell that news to who needs to hear it. And I feel this Queen of Cups bringing it forward to the King of Wands. So I don't know if the Queen of Cups is representative of this person's lawyer, uh, but they are bringing them good news. And the news is that their Wheel of Fortune is turning. And financially, it is very much turning with this decision. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. You know, it's funny, and this Two of Cups, ah, it can represent romance, it can represent sort of a deep emotional bond. I don't really feel deep emotional bond. Uh, I do get pulled back to the Queen of Cups. I get pulled back to the King of Wands. I, this was a partnership because this Queen of Wands is tied in a positive way to the King of Wands into his journey and what's been going on with justice. And she is the one bringing this positive news forward. So I do feel the two of them are going to celebrate this victory. Like I said, I'm not talking romance here. I'm just talking that this is a victory to be celebrated for both of them because things have come out in their favor and the way that they were wanting. I'm going to grab a few more here. Ace of Pentacles. Financially, oh hell yeah, this is a new beginning for somebody. This is uh, bringing a lot of financial changes and easing a lot of burdens. The judgment in the fight comes out in somebody's favor. Like, I couldn't say it any differently. Judgment, Five of Wands, Knight of Cups. The judgment comes out for the fight that was happening in somebody's favor and brings them an emotional victory. It brings them happiness. It brings them a victory. The cards just keep saying it over and over again. So I'm not sure who's been fighting this, who's been enduring this for a long time, this legal fight, and maybe been stressed out about it. 
but it's coming out the way it's supposed to come out. There's the generosity coming forward in the Six of Pentacles, the offering that will change somebody's financial status because financially they've been in a rough spot. I, and I'm going to tell you too, sometimes the Five of Pentacles can represent poor health. So that might tie into the entire fight and sort of the catalyst for the fight to begin with. Because I still don't get the vibe that this is like divorce or something. I don't get the vibe of what this court thing is about. Tarot's not telling me. A lot of times I do get pulled in one direction. I do get told that it's, you know, assets being divided. But it's being left really open to me. And I keep asking. So, you know, I do keep asking my spirit guides and nobody's telling me anything. So, it might be too that this read speaks to multiple people who are going through slightly different situations. But are going to have the same outcome. And who have been enduring a fight each in their own, but for their own reasons. But they are each getting that same outcome. They are each getting that Ace of Pentacles. They are each getting the judgment in their favor that's gonna bring forward like that emotional victory like the Knight of Cups and will financially change their lives. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The Chariot card. It's like this is that chance to finally move on and move forward. Make positive progress. They're finally seeing that abundant harvest that was supposed to come to them. This long fight is coming to an end. The Ten of Swords. So whatever the catalyst was for this. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this was health related. I don't know if this is like a, a relationship coming to an end. The Ten of Swords represents an end that's disappointing. Okay, but one that benefits somebody in the long run. So whatever happened here, financially, this is benefiting someone. Financially, this is going to put somebody in a better place in the long run. Everything happens for a reason. Everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, that Seven of Swords is definitely the ugly. That is some nasty energy coming forward. And they're going to be pissed off about the win. That, that whoever's on the other side of this is not going to enjoy is not going to enjoy the way this judgment has gone because you know what i keep feeling like um when the catalyst came about that sneaky energy that other side of things thought they were in a good spot like they thought they were going to win it all they thought they were putting themselves in a good spot financially uh with this king of wands sort of losing out so this is totally flipped on them this is totally fifth, but that is that justice, that is that karma, that is things being brought back into balance. They thought they had a great victory when this tower came about to begin with, but now it's been flipped around because the high priestess again is like this universe, keeping an eye on things like karma, keeping an eye on things. We're going to put it back into balance now. We're going to put it back into balance. Now the celebration is going to go the other way. The other person is going to be celebrating their win. Mm-hmm. Because this Queen of Swords, it is this King of Swords sort of coming back into play. It's that same energy coming back into play. The one who makes the judgment call. The one who has the authority to set things right. Not emotionally tied into anybody, but they want justice. Justice, truth, honesty, integrity. All those things. Balance is important to them. Uh, and they're going to recognize what balance is supposed to be. And they're, that's their judgment call. And again, Two of Pentacles, balance. And it helps somebody cut ties from the past and move on and move forward moving from stormier times to calmer ones on the queen of pentacles uh it's changing their financial situation i feel a lot of ease in this queen of pentacles this does speak to the money situation changing and how it brings an ease to a lot of different burdens like i feel somebody now relaxed and at peace knowing that they have this money here, knowing that they've they've had this goal, this fight is over, they don't have to deal with it anymore, plus they have this reward that's going to change the way that their life is going. It's a very important decision. Like I said, I can't pinpoint exactly what the catalyst was because I feel like this read is actually for more than a few people who are going through slightly different situations. And that's why Tarot will not get specific with me and my spirit guides will not tell me one thing or the other because there's a few people who need to hear this message. I need to have hope that this fight will come to an end and it will be a positive ending for them and make a positive difference in their life. Alrighty, Collective, that's your read. <laughs>